So yeah, so I am in the airplane doctile. What I will do is I'm adding a new field here, which is a check field. Audit completed, right? I hit save. I go to the airplane list. So for all, like for not for all, for uh, some airplanes, what I will do is I will mark this to true, right? So some have audit completed, some have not, and some you deployed this app. Many users installed it and started tracking their air their aeroplanes in this. And uh, suppose they have started using this field as well to mark the audit and whatnot. And like after a few months, you realize, okay, now check isn't sufficient. We want to track the status of audit, right? So what do you want to do? We want to move from this checkbox called is audited, like audit complete, audit complete which stores what yes or no, right? To audit status, which is what? A select field, which can have a status uh, open in review completed, right? Uh, maybe open is like audit status is not started in review and completed right uh, maybe not started on hold yeah so this is what the user wants now already deployed now you want to go from this field to this field so they have said like okay whichever records have yes they are like completed and whichever i have no are not started basically because the own on hold thing was not there before. So what will happen uh, if I add audit status here, select and uh, not started on hold completed, right? Will it automatically fix my data? As you can see, it is not set, right? So this is where patches come in. So you want to fix existing data in your database, right? Maybe existing columns, existing rows, whatever. So currently, what do we want? We want, so whenever user takes this updated changes from our app, their database sh should get fixed, right? So this field should get set to the proper thing. So this is where patches come in. So I want to write a patch. So let's quickly go into our app, whatever custom app you are in. So Frappe, I think Frappe types is the one that contains the code for airplane. So you can write patches anywhere. So So I can write it anywhere. So since that patch is related to airplane, I will go in the airplane folder. I will add uh, patches folder here. Uh, I can add an init file as well. And then here I will do fix the name of the patch. So I'm giving it the file a name. So what, what will this patch do? Fix audit. No, this will set audit status, right? Dot pi. And then each patch should have an execute method. This is what will be called by Frappe when it is migrating. And patch are only called once, like each patch is only called once on any site. So if this patch is executed on a site, this won't like be executed next time when bench migrate is run. Bench migrate is when the patches get run. So now 
set audit status frappe is there uh now what do we want so let's go to patches and find out more patches frappe framework writing a patch yep so now we we have defined this py file now we can in patches.txt we have to give the path to this file set audit status so frappe types dot frappe types dot doc type dot dot doc type dot airplane dot plane dot patches dot patches dot set audit status right now i have pointed it to my patch file and so this is a new feature like v14 and develop so pre-model sync is before the new data is being new database model has been synced. so what does that mean for us for us it means before this new column is added to the database so pre-sync will run before this column is added right pre-model sync will run before and post model will run after. So what do we want? Because we want to set a new field. We want to run it post model, right? So we can do post model sync here, right? So it will run after the database changes have been loaded. And now what we can do is we can execute a SQL query here. We can do frappe dot or db dot set value that will be better set all airplane audit status based on audit completed right we want to set that so we are getting all the airplanes that's cool we are getting like looping over each airplane if the audit is completed we are setting we are doing a db set completed otherwise we are doing not completed right not completed not not started so not copilot is not always cool now we can do so if you want more examples of patches, go to frappe patches.txt and you will find like 229 patches. Like there are one off patches as well. So if you want, just want to like execute a single line of code, you can do this. Otherwise it's like introduce UI tools. So we can check like what happens here. And then frappe.qb.update user you can use query builder as well because here this is not optimal i am doing a one database call for each airplane i would have done like grouped into two and then like two database calls would have been sufficient uh, so that was that but for the sake of this uh, i'll just show you one more set contact cool db dot set value so update modified equal to false. This is like an interesting one. I will add it to both. So if you run set value, like as is, it will update the modification date and it won't be that silent. We want it to be silent. So as you can see that it was updated three days ago. And if we run that pass without this update modified, it will all become no, 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 no. So that won't be silent, right? We want it to happen behind the scenes. So this, and how do I run a patch? I can run a patch from the bench or I can do bench migrate and it will automatically run this patch, uh, whichever patch is not yet run. Bench dash dash site, change makers, migrate. Okay, failed. 
pre model okay we have to define pre model as well let's keep it empty but let's keep it there so as you can see executing patch set audit status and it was run i can refresh it and as you can see the modified date wasn't changed but if we go into this not started completed based on this it got set and now you can drop that column if you want like delete this right in a next commit or in the same commit also like you can remove that column cool does this make sense now patches are clear where why why patches hello cool 